Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. One thing that you notice whenever you do start editing videos is the fact that you have background noise. And this is really something that is annoying. And this is something that I've had to deal with because a lot of my videos, they have background noise mainly because of my computer. I have fans that are running and then sometimes my air conditioner comes on. And so you can actually remove a lot of this background noise. Um, I myself, since I produce so much content, I don't really spend the time that I should be uh, to remove a lot of this background noise. But today I'm going to show you how to do this because I really feel that if you do want to up your production quality, I think the two most important and quickest places you could do that if you want to improve it is you could actually first improve the audio and then secondly the video. And so the way you could do that in OpenShot, it's really not an easy way because OpenShot unfortunately doesn't have, as far as I know, any default ways to actually edit audio or even to save the audio that you extract. For example, if I have this video clip here, if you right click on audio, you only have a few options here, okay? So if you separate the audio, you could do that, right? But you don't have any options directly where you can actually extract the audio. Okay, so you could go here and you won't see that anywhere. Okay, whereas in other video editors, you can extract the audio and in some video editors, you can edit the audio right here inside your actual project. But in this case, we're actually going to go through the long process and this will actually help you in the long run because if you do learn how to do it this way, then you could pretty much edit any audio and remove any background noise regardless of which video editor that you use. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you what the difference is. So here, if I separate the audio right here, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. Now, what you can also do here, if you right click on your mouse and you go to display, you could actually look at the waveform. Now, as you can see there, there is the waveform of the different volume in your video. But as I stated earlier, unfortunately, there's nothing that I could do with this. You know, I can't extract this particular audio okay at all as far as I know there isn't an option for me to extract this audio so what do you do here well you go through the long method so let me delete this and so the first thing you want to do is actually get the audio out of the video first and one method that I can see how to do that is by using VLC okay there are many methods to do this but I think this is the easiest so all you do is go here to media go to convert and save and then you choose the video that you actually want to convert okay and then you go to convert and save and here you could choose the different formats that you want to convert this to in this case I want to convert it to an audio only file an mp3 okay and then you could browse where you want to put this so I want to put in videos so now you type in what you want to do it so let's just say audio only as a test okay and then you say save and now you go ahead and start the conversion and for the most part it is pretty quick so it'll produce a audio only file for you right here okay so once that has been converted if you actually go to your folder you should see it there's it is audio only dot mp3 so now I'll go back to my project and here what I want to do is I want to do the show waveform again. So I'll do this display show waveform. Okay, so there is your waveform. Now, what do we do with the actual audio file that we created? Well, this is where we actually remove the background noise. So right here, you must install audacity first. So hopefully you already have audacity, but I'll go to go ahead and open this with audacity. Okay, so right here, you could do a control and you could just zoom out or zoom in in this case. Okay. And so what I want to do here is at the beginning of my video, there is right here some places where there's really no, uh, you know, like just the computer fan. There's no other noise here. Okay. And so you could play that and test it out. But I know that by listening to my videos, this is where it's at. Okay. And so what you want to do here is you want to highlight the area where you have this background noise that you want to remove. Okay. And then you'll go to effect 
Then you go to noise reduction right here and then get noise profile. So what this would do is it'll generate a noise profile based upon the section that you highlighted. Now all you do is do a control A which will select everything okay and now you go to effect and then do repeat noise reduction and what this would do is it will go ahead and apply this noise reduction on your entire audio clip. And you'll notice it looks a little different here. Now it's a lot less differences right here. Okay. And it'll actually remove that from your entire video as best as possible. Now you could actually do more sophisticated things here. You could go into an equalizer and so forth. But I think this way, for the most part, it'll work. Okay. And you can obviously listen to it to make sure it sounds good. But now you're going to go ahead and export this audio. And I'm going to go ahead and extract this as an MP3 file. So audio, I just call it audio clean. MP3. Okay. You don't have to put that MP3. Let's go ahead and save it. And it'll go ahead and convert this audio with the new noise reduction. Boom. Now if you go to your video files, it should be right here. Audio clean right there. So now you go back to your actual project and I'm going to go ahead and import this new clean file. Okay. Now this is why it's important for you to have this show waveform. Okay. So if I bring down my audio clean right here, you want to do the same thing and right click on your mouse and then display show waveform. And as you can see, there is the actual waveform. It should match up because it's actually the same length. Okay. So what you want to do is this existing video clip, you want to make sure the volume is mute. So what you can do is right click on your mouse, volume, and then you could actually make it zero. Okay. So then this volume doesn't play, only this one does, the new clean one. So if you press play, what you'll notice is whenever you do play this, it will have a lot cleaner audio. And since you still have the audio in your previous video, you can still turn this back on if you need it. But that way you can tell the difference between the two. Now, the only thing that is challenging here is if you need to splice your actual video in between, it's very important that you do it at the correct spot. Unfortunately, as far as I know, there's not a way for me to actually group different clips together. Okay, you can lock ones, lock the actual clips, but if you group it, whatever change that you make in one will make it to the other. And so if, you know, if you do know how to do that within OpenShot, let me know. But if you ever do other video editing in other software, if you group it, it makes it a lot easier to make sure that wherever you trim the video, it'd be in the exact spot. Okay. But that's why I'm showing you this waveform right here. And so if you look at it, you know, if you do have to trim it in the middle or something, you know that, you know, your audio is going to be in sync with the video as well. And so that is it for this particular video. I know it is not the simplest way to do it, but as far as I know, I have not been able to find an easier way to do this within OpenShot itself. And if you did have a way to do this, you know, that's a lot easier than the way I do it, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see the rest of my OpenShot tutorial series, I'll leave that in the description area as well, where you can see all my videos on how you could actually edit using OpenShot. So if you had any other thoughts on this, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.